Hello, this is an SDF image asset introduction. In this video, we're going to create a simple working example of an SDF image and see how it differs from regular Unity image. I have a blank project right here. Uh, first thing, we're going to install the SDF package. Once you bought the asset, you can do it through package manager in assets tab. Uh, however, I'm just going to install it through uh, regular assets import unity package we're gonna see unity package import window you can notice that it's installing inside of the packages folder not inside of the assets folder this is relatively new way to distribute assets right after installation we can see that it appears in our packages list however uh, it's going to trigger the recompile because SDF requires some dependencies and that's what it's doing right now. It's fetching those dependencies. Dependencies are gathered from public registry. Therefore, this registry is automatically added, which you can see in project settings. In package manager project, you can observe that there is two packages. Nicotine Core, this is the dependency installed from Scope Registry, and Nicotine SDF, this is the actual asset you downloaded, and it's installed as local package. Now let's start up with creating some simple UI setup. I'm just going to add a canvas and create a simple Unity image. Pump up its size a little. Right here, I already have downloaded our example icon. Uh, let's import it as a sprite and drag into the image. That's how default Unity image looks like. Now if we want to add a built-in outline, we just add a component, pump up its settings, and uh, it doesn't really look good. That's basically the problem with built-in outline. You see these cranks all on the edges of the image, and you can't make it white because color is multiplicative and it just multiplies with the color of the sprite itself. Also, if we enable shaded wireframe mode, we can see that there is four additional quads generated by outline component. This is basically the copies of the sprite just with a different color. That's why this outline looks so bad. It's not reassembling the actual edges of the sprite. It becomes even worse if we add shadow component to it. So right here you can see that not only the four additional quads added by the outline, there is also five more quads added by the shadow. And in total, if you want to add a built-in shadow and outline to Unity image, you will get 10 meshes instead of one. This affects performance in a bad way. To convert our regular image to SDF image, all we got to do is remove outline and shadow component, then right click and select convert to SDF image. Uh, here you're going to see regular image basically. There is just a few additional properties, but overall SDF image is inherited from image, so you can do all the same things with it. Right now, nothing's really changed we see in the same image. That's because we need to generate an SDF, Sign Distance Field Texture. We can do it by click and fix now button. However, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to select the Sprite asset and at the header of Inspector, click it, toggle, import SDF. Also, to make it visible, we need to pump up a mesh scale. This is something I'm going to explain later and just remove the material. And there you go. This is the basic SDF outline. I'm not going to go much into detail about the SDF image properties, but let's just play with some of them. First is a color. You can set it to whatever you want. White is supported. It's completely independent. Second is a multiplier. This is basically how thick you want your outline to be. As you see, it completely reassembles the shape of the sprite. Also, it has no pixelation. You can zoom it and it always be crisp.
However, if you want to modify your outline, customize it a bit more, uh, you need to create a material. Let's just do that uh, and select the shader and label teen SDF UI. Now drag that material into the SDF image. I'm going to change uh, color to white so we can do everything in the material. Right now, I'm just going to play around with material values to just showcase how you can set up an SDF outline and shadow. There are several layers. Main, which is white right now. On that is stacked outline layer. And uh, on that, stacked underlay layer. Basically, this is a shadow. Right now, I'm setting up some values just to make it look pretty. And I think that's good enough. I just add a bit of shadow. That's how it looks in the scene. Materials is more of a style, so you can share them between images. But on image itself, you can change with SDF multiplier overall width of your effect. And with color, you can just add a tint to your effect. However, it's not really working good. If you want to use a color in each image, then you should probably use grayscale values on your material. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's your simple SDF setup. Quick recap, you don't love your sprite, change its import settings to sprite and toggle the import SDF checkbox. Then you create a material with SDF shader, set up its properties, uh, reference material and sprite in your SDF image, and voila. In next video, we're gonna go over SDF image properties, SDF material properties, and also see how SDF importer is looking. This is a window really similar to Sprite Editor, where you can change how you want to import your texture. Thanks for watching.